you looked at the display interfaces uh, between a desktop and a notebook and a consumer electronic device, they were all very distinct interfaces that were being used. Uh, a notebook uses a technology called LVDS. Uh, on a, a desktop, you might have had VGA or DDI being used. Uh, and then um, there's similar uh, options on the consumer space. We were looking at both of those interfaces were in need of being refreshed. And we were asking a basic question. Uh, one is, that graphics controller on the base platform is pretty much the same graphics controller in terms of guts. It's creating digital bits that ultimately get driven to the display. The displays years ago were CRTs. We've now pretty much moved to flat panels across the board, both in notebooks and, and displays. Yet somewhere in between those interfaces evolved as very distinct interfaces. And in many cases in conflict with, with each other. Uh, at the same time, we were spending a lot of time talking with customers saying, what are, what, are the, what are customers' needs? So the customer needs that we received were, I really want to move to larger displays, flat panels preferably, uh, for a lot of different reasons. Uh, some of that has to do with power savings, uh, others due to resolution. I like widescreen displays, high resolution, and on top of that, there were a few other things that we picked up on. Things like, uh, hey, I really, uh, I, I really don't like the fact that if I've got a bunch of peripherals on my desk, I've got all this wire clutter I'm dealing with, uh, heading down to my, my platform, especially for a desktop. Uh, the other thing we heard was just in terms of looking across uh, the interfaces themselves, how easy is it to transfer uh, data back and forth? This is more from content providers uh, between interfaces. It was a very different setup. So what we've come up with uh, and, and this is where the Dell engineers about five years ago, we spent time in the lab and we put together a proposal for a new interface which is um, called DisplayPort now. At that time it wasn't DisplayPort. And it really addresses a couple of these needs that I just talked about. DisplayPort, I've got a sample cable with some end pieces, so those that were taking pictures, that's what you were taking pictures of. Uh, very streamlined cable, bi-directional, uh, allows communication back and forth has performance extensions able to allow you to drive some pretty high density displays up through things that might be the equivalent of four HD TV resolutions in the future. So we're not there in terms of resolution today, but the capability is there with this interface. Because of the bi-directional na nature, you can integrate together all of the peripherals around uh, a display and only have one cable that comes back from your display back to your machine. And let's say you decide you want to do multi-monitor, you just plug the one monitor into the other monitor, not back behind your desk or under your desk. It's a daisy chain approach. So we've tried to address usability for our customers in, in defining this. Performance capabilities. The other thing is cost. Uh, cost is an important point here because if you go back to the history around CRT displays, you were going from a digital controller, converting it to analog to drive an analog display, when we moved to flat panel displays, we now put converters back in the display that converted that analog signal back into digital to drive the panel. So there was this conversion, double conversion that was occurring that was not only, in some cases, degrading the performance capabilities or the integrity of the signal, but also uh, really uh, led to, uh, led to uh, added cost. So the cool thing about this is uh, this will you'll see this technology later this year coming out from Dell. Uh, you'll see this technology from the rest of the industry. Uh, we uh, brought this technology forward. Uh, we brought together a team of we, uh, folks across the industry, including technology providers as well as uh, folks that were fellow travelers uh, that you would view as competitors to Dell. We brought those folks in to really make this a standard that would, uh, that would stick in the industry. And the good news is we've done that. Uh, the simplification on the laptop is quite simple as well because now up through the display interface you only have a single cable versus multiple cables to go do all the things you need to do uh, on the display. So what are some of the other benefits that you'll see from this? When you remove a lot of those electronics around the display, one of the things that we've got up here is, is a mock-up of what we believe a flat panel display could look like going forward. And what you see is a very clean and sleek design. The panel in place, 
I.O. such as speakers, microphones, all integrated into the display itself. And the important part is off the back a single cable that would be a display port driven cable out the back. Uh, and one other important factor too is we are very sure that the thickness of panels will go down significantly both on this style device as well as on your notebooks just because of the removal of a lot of the electronics that was required to do those conversions I talked about. So we're really excited about this. Customers have been really excited about this. Uh, it's something that we've, we've uh, been working on for the last few years uh, and we're, we're happy to see that come to market later this year.